That's right. The former Pritchard Water Board operations manager, Nia Bradley, released from jail. That happening just in the last half hour. Yeah, Bradley making the $250,000 bond, but she'll have to wear an ankle monitor as a condition of her release. Bradley and her husband pleading not guilty to criminal charges related to the theft from the Pritchard Water Board and new allegations announced in court today. Fox 10 News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby now joining us live with the very latest. Brendan, we're finding out more about this case, huh? Yeah, we are Byron and Lenise. Prosecutors telling the judge today that this investigation taking two new directions, one involving food stamp cards that investigators found during a search of the couple's home, and they say they're also looking in the properties that Nia Bradley co-owns with a former employee of the Water Board. Nia Bradley appearing Monday in person in Mobile County District Court, an entire row of people showing their support. Mobile County Assistant District Attorney Clay Rossi urged District Judge Zachary Moore to keep the no bail order in place, calling her, quote, a sophisticated fraudster. He said the money she's accused of stealing is well in excess of $200,000, and he says that figure likely will grow because there's some 1,000 requisition orders from her time running the Pritchard Water System that investigators have yet to review. And then there's the food stamp cards investigators say they recovered from her home. EBT cards were recovered in the raid that took place, took place last week. Um, along uh, the, Those cards were uh, named in Nia Bradley and Anthony Bradley's names. Aside from that, the investigation is developing. Rossi says investigators also are looking at several properties Nia Bradley owns with a former Richard Water Board employee. He wouldn't elaborate, but Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich has said Bradley used her utility credit card to buy large amounts of building supplies that weren't used by the water system. Prosecutors have cited a passport sent to Nia and Anthony Bradley as evidence they were planning to flee. Her attorney, Jason Darley, says his client ordered the passports more than a month before the allegations came to light, and he says the food stamp cards were old. Well, I mean, I mean, they're bringing up an EBT card from years ago. Uh, you know, they, they paraded the boxes out there. I mean, we know what's we know what's exists in this case, and there, there's a way to present it, and there's a way not to. Gordon Armstrong, who represents Anthony Bradley, says the raid on his client's home was a quote show for the media. This is no way to try to evaluate the guilt or innocence of anybody. You know, until we can actually sit down and and go through what the supposed evidence actually is, you know, it's, it's hard to have any comment on it. We should find out more about the allegations on April 21st. That's when Judge Moore set preliminary hearings in the case. Reporting live in Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.